Hi lovelies, welcome to my channel. My name is Bryony and I do cruelty free and vegan makeup reviews and tutorials on this channel. And what I'm currently working on is doing a bit of a deep dive into New Zealand and Australian owned brands which are cruelty free and have vegan products as well. So before you even get started on this video, please do hit that like button and also subscribe because this is a big journey and I want to bring you on this journey with me as well. And don't forget to also check me out in Vegan Magazine as well because I'm beauty editor there too. And I'll be sharing there like all of my favorite products as well that I found from this big journey that I'm on right now as well. But today we are actually here to talk about the products from Brown All Year. So I reached out to them because fake tan is still a thing that we still want to be able to do, whether that is going to get a spray tan or doing it yourself at home because you're in lockdown and you're in quarantine and you can't really go anywhere. Or just because you don't actually have the time to actually drive anywhere to go get a fake tan done and then stand there doing the T-pose for like an hour whilst it dries. I know that it doesn't really take that long, but you know what I mean, like, some of us are just time poor and so you want to do it at home. So I actually emailed the owner of the company, Hayley, and I wanted to find out about the brand, and they're totally cruelty free, all vegan. She kindly sent me some products, this is still an unbiased review, it doesn't matter if a company will send me products or not, or even if they pay me one day, you know me. Like, I've got, I don't know even how many hundreds of videos where I'm showing you my full opinion of products, like, doesn't matter if someone sends it to me or not, I'm gonna tell you the truth about how it really works. And so she kindly sent me the chocolate tanning lotion, this is apparently their most popular product. She also sent me their natural tan towelette, which is super handy if you're in a bit of a rush as well, because the colour comes on instantly with this, whereas this one builds a bit. And she also kindly sent me their face and body oil, which I'm super excited to try out. Now I love rosehip oil so much personally, I find that the product is just really really good at nourishing your skin and helping it get more moisturized. Love that so much. So this is organic hemp seed and rose hip seed oils that are great for the skin as they are rich in omega fatty acids and pro vitamin A to help regenerate skin cells and nourish dehydrated and dry skin types. Apply once a day to the face or body for daily hydration. Now if you are missing out on using moisturizer for your body whilst you're fake tanning, so I know that sometimes that can interrupt it a little bit, if you're actually just applying this instead, then that could be a really good way to still be able to nourish your skin whilst you're not able to like do like all of the scrubs and all of the moisturizing that you tend to do because this stuff lasts for four to eight days. So I applied it this morning and as you can see, this is the journey that I went on because I am naturally about as pale as this top. So it's amazing to be able to wear white for one because the tan has actually developed really nicely. Let's just jump in to how it is when you're actually applying the product. And so when I'm actually applying the product, it goes on very easily. It doesn't feel like it's going to slide around everywhere. It's a really nice feeling formula and it's not too... it doesn't look too dark even on my skin and as you can see I have incredibly pale skin. <laughs> my skin... Uh, yeah it's got some sun damage on there but it is still uh, ghostly white so getting a bit more of a healthy glow considering that we're in winter now is actually a wonderful thing. The product itself as well, so sometimes you know you have like that awful fake tan smell, this doesn't have that. In terms of a scent, it has a slight scent but I believe that that is actually the rose ether that you can smell along with a bit of like the witch hazel but honestly I don't actually smell anything that is anywhere close to any other fake tan that I've used because normally it's like this cloying sort of it either smells like sunscreen or it just smells oh I don't know ugly and hideous but this stuff doesn't so I'll be able to see oh my leg is actually more tanned as well. This is a lot more tan than what I normally get for my legs. This is actually very impressive. I didn't find anywhere near as much of a problem with like streaking or anything. It's created a really nice even coverage. You obviously still need to work it in and because you're wearing rubber gloves when you're applying it, if you're not doing that well enough then you will get some creasing or some patching that can happen. But if you apply a little bit of well, either the oil at the time or a bit of moisturizer, you'll be able to effectively like do that as like an eraser and rub that bit out and then just like work in the product instead. At least that's what I did because I have a little bit of patchiness on my shoulder here. I'm going to come and check in with you guys so that you can see all of the results that I've actually gotten with this product and then I will try out this one as well. 
So using the natural tan towel that, again, I'll do this on camera so you can see how that works. And from tonight, I'm actually going to start using this face and body oil so that I'll be able to report back to you about how this has gone too because I think it's really important to try all of these products out and like I said, with the rosehip oil and then also the fact it's got hemp seed in it, I'm so intrigued because I've never used a product with hemp seed in it. Super, super excited. But yes, also, I just have to highlight as well, I love the fact that they've actually used like a crinkled paper in here as well. So then it's actually all biodegradable, which I love because so many times you get those little packaging peanuts and just that eco-friendly approach to things, so good. Love it. I'm super, super here for it. So I've gotten changed back into the top that I was wearing when I put my fake tan on. As you can tell from the straps, it's okay. Sadly, I already have foundation on this top, so now this top has kind of been sacrificed to, you know, things that uh, you do when uh, it doesn't really matter if a stain gets on your top because no matter how hard I've tried, haven't got the foundation stain out. So I wanted to quickly show you as well. There, ooh, ooh, okay. So first off, there are a few little patches on here. I'll bring it up to the camera so you can really see where it seems like the tan has actually come off onto here. So as per usual, don't wear a white top when you've just fake tanned, I think that we know the rules. I just got very excited. What would be a concern is if you can see anything on here which looks really bad and it doesn't. Like, this doesn't look patchy at all. I know that I kind of screwed up the shoulder here. So you might be able to see that a little bit. Um, but I've already got like these existing tan lines on here ignoring the little mark around here where my top was uh, mildly digging in but it's fine it still felt comfortable let's have a look at this arm because this is the arm that i showed you when i was first applying it it feels nice and soft the skin doesn't feel bad at all i'm trying to keep it all fairly even for you but yeah it feels really good it looks good it looks like a natural tan and i've been wearing this stuff for four hours wow i've been filming all of these videos for four hours that's crazy yeah, so this will be how dark it actually goes. High key, I was a bit nervous because this is the chocolate tanning one. So I was like, oh my God, I'm going to look like Ross in an episode of Friends. <laughs> but actually, this is actually fine. I just look like a girl that lives at the beach. And isn't that all the look that we want to go for whenever we have like fake tan on? Stick around. Let's just get on with every single day afterwards. <laughs> so now we are on to the second day of my tan. I had a shower last night. I still shaved and there is nothing that has come off my legs. Legs are still very tanned. Love it, really good. And actually I'm almost preferring how this looks on day two. So this was my first comparison arm. This was the arm that I applied everything on. This is still looking wonderfully glowy. Like normally if I wore a top this color, this would be the same color as my skin. There is no patchiness that is going on. This is just looking like a wonderful natural tan. It hasn't come off at all patchy. And when I slept last night, there's nothing in my sheets and I've got light baby pink sheets. Like my sheets are the same color as this top and there's been no rub off. So basically it's the same rule as what normally would apply when it comes to like having fake tan on and that would be to like shower, get like the initial excess off before you go to sleep, which is pretty standard, right? At least I think that's pretty standard. So when I use this, I haven't shown you the color, but it's like this very interesting green. It definitely smells hempy. And I put this on last night. I will actually just put a little bit on now so I can sort of show you. I'll just put two drops on. So it's this kind of green shade. Obviously, that's with the hemp, and I'll apply it to my elbows so you can really see. I applied this over my decolletage and on my face last night, and it just felt really wonderful. There was definitely a hempy scent to it, so it took me a bit by surprise. Like I said, I haven't used hemp before, but it's really nourishing, and straight away, scaly elbows are gone, which is really good. So let's just see how the next day goes. Now we are on day three after using the product so as you can see I'm still tanned everything is still 
looking nice and brown. It is still this level of tan. It still hasn't come off my, on my sheets. I wore a white top yesterday when I went for my really long walk. No product came off. It's actually just stayed on really well. None of it has gone patchy. Hello lovelies, so it is now Saturday and so I've had this fake tan on since last Sunday. However, it is now basically completely gone. So, I wanted to show you how this little bad boy here works out. So, first off, how beautifully shiny is this? Wow. So, this is one tanning towelette for tanning your arms or legs. And wiping the natural tan towelette onto your arms or legs will provide instant colour and last approximately 4 to 10 days. Leap on to four to six hours before showering. It's 10 in the morning. I'm not gonna be having another shower today. Top is on. I'm gonna be careful with what I'm showing because many reasons. <laughs> now also I painted my nails last night. So again, just like with any time you're using fake tan, <laughs> put some gloves on or sun protection or something. So this, ooh, oh, okay. This has actually got a really nice smell to it. It almost smells like a cleaning product and I don't know why I find that so pleasant, but like, oh no, oh no. That's really nice. Okay. Oh my goodness, okay, this is very dark. As you could see, that was super easy to apply. And so I've literally just been trying to let myself dry. I, I would actually say that you can use one of those to do like the top half of your body and one of them to do the bottom half of your body. So I could do my entire torso with that, with my arms and my back. So very impressive. So obviously I'm gonna just use like the fake tan to make sure that my legs are nice and tanned as well. But yeah, super, super impressive. <sighs> it is time. For our final review of this product, well, these products I should say. So I've really been enjoying using brown all year. Like, I've still got this wonderful tan that is going on. Still looking at very bronze goddess, which is why I've created this summery makeup look, which I'll link up above if it's already up. Otherwise, just subscribe to my channel because I'm coming out with like all new 2000s inspired makeup looks. But I wanted to give you my final thoughts about these products because... I can't say enough good things about them. The tan on these is so natural looking and it just applies really easily. There's no over over like smell to it all. The towelette I really did enjoy. Like you get a lot of product in here. Like I was genuinely surprised because like I said it did my entire torso. I'm still looking tanned and this is three showers later and I'm still this brown which is very very good. Of course this one it still says um, it lasts from 4 to 10 days and this is still going to keep on lasting, I already know it. Um, as I'm editing this I will actually just check in and like either have a screenshot here or I'll just leave some text down below. Overall these tanning products I absolutely adore. If you're looking for like that sort of staycation look um, because none of us can leave our houses maybe this could be the product for you. I mean I, I'm gonna get a lot of uses out of this. It's still super heavy, even though I applied this all over my body. I love that it's cruelty free. I love her whole approach to the business. Like she really does have a passion for vegan beauty and making products that work super well. Like I, I love it so much. So if you are curious about getting a new fake tan, try these products out. Like so, so genuinely impressed. This is so much better than the eco tan one that I have been using. Like, I love the color of this so much more and it doesn't leave a smell. I'm sorry to throw another brand under the bus, but this is better when it comes to my tanning experience. So, New Zealand wins in this round. As for the face and body oil, so I've still been using this every day and I've noticed that my skin has felt more nourished. I haven't really enjoyed it on my face as much just because of the smell of it because it is a very earthy sort of scent. So if scents are kind of a problem area for you, you might not like this product too much. But it does have so many good things in it. My skin has felt softer and like more supple whilst I've been using it. And it it's a very enjoyable product. It's just it's just the smell. That's the one thing that does bother me. Now you know that I'm always going to be honest with these reviews and I would say that if you are struggling with having more dry skin in winter, this will be an amazing product for you. But if you are sensitive 
um, and just hate any scent of any kind, this will probably bother you because it is quite earthy scented. It kind of smells like if you've over brewed a cup of tea without milk in it. So overall, would I recommend these products? <laughs> Absolutely. I've really loved using them. And if you're traveling, this could be a really good top-up option for you if you can't go bring in like big bottles of liquid or you just don't have that much space. And uh, when we're going on our local vacations, when we can, uh, this could be a great choice for you. Don't forget to stay tuned because this is a series that's going to keep on going for as long as products keep coming out of New Zealand and Australia. So I'm doing all of this work in the background so that you can know which are the best products to buy, which are the best brands to buy, and which are brands that you never even had heard of. Because I'd never heard of brown all year and uh, now they've got a big fan. So thank you once again for watching. I hope this has been useful for you. Don't forget to give it a like down below and also subscribe so I come up with new videos every single week, twice a week whilst we're in lockdown. Thank you lovelies. I'll see you again soon. Bye.